Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to part 8 of the Wales campaign for Medieval 2, the Kingdom's expansion. And in the previous part, we snuck past this English army here by Edmund, and we took Lincoln. Look at that. Fantastic work there. We took Lincoln very easily. It was an auto-resolve. They only had one or two units in there, and yeah, that was great. I'm now going to use my spy to find out what England have nearby, so let's move him along and as you can see Nottingham is actually well it's, it could be there for the taking uh, as a matter of fact it only has four units although Edmund is I nearby with a couple of you. catapults Stop. and it's a large English army by Anselm of Bapton First, Big I Baps himself who we haven't happens. fought yet we've we've seen him for a few times in the on the previous episodes and he just hasn't Sire. really appeared so it's quite funny anyway we're gonna move my other spy with discretion uh, Oxford is there as well so Oxford and Winchester and London are relatively undefended I'm just looking to see what good targets are right my the is going to join up with Captain Honor. Robert and this army Assembling a I'm confident enough in this army troops, to go this yes, way and take the lands over here that's what this army is going to do by my V mercenary captain smart f smart fair fighter severe yeah, he's not too bad. We're going to use him. The king himself, King Clueny the Honourable, needs to get more troops at Shaftesbury quickly. That is our plan. We can, of course, retrain a couple of units, which, well, we can't at the moment, but we will be able to shortly. But we can actually recruit units here in Shaftesbury. Look at this. English mailed knights. That would be useful, wouldn't it? We also have some heavy in English heavy billmen and some English billmen. Let's have a little look. I'm going to go for the cheaper option, I think. I'm going to go for the English billmen. Oh, we can go for both of them, though, couldn't we? I will go for both. We'll recruit the two units there. Shaftesbury can get a few more units, then the king can move out and try and take Winchester. Uh, I just wanted to all check my details. Let's see, Welsh, 50% Welsh, 50% English. Okay, that's not too bad. Winchester is, as expected, is mainly English. I'm going to have to exterminate some of these populations, I think. Um, which I don't mind, because as long as I can build up Cardiff as a kind of... Um, and Pembroke and Mont Montgomery and Carnarvon as kind of trading hubs, then... I'll get plenty of money in. That's what I'm aiming to do. Wales will be used as the actual source of income, and then the rest will just be settlements taken off the English. That's my that's my aim in this campaign. Now, this army here, Edwin Riddirk, could probably go to take Oxford. There's only three units there, so it would be three versus three. Uh, my spy, where did I put you? I'll put you there. Where you can come this side? way, actually. See where a bit more of the land. Side? I think we got a clear strike on Oxford, actually. So... Um, Anything nearby? Oh, Shrewsbury's got a catapult. Ordered. Right, this is what we're going to do, folks. We're going to take uh, this catapult. We're going to put it yes. there. Gloucester. Do you really like me, Gloucester? Oh, look at that. Big Welsh culture there. Unrest, only 10%. Public order is very good. I could retrain the Medinoid Spearman for 251 florins, which I'm going to do. And I can actually recruit more units in Gloucester, which I'm going to need, so... I'm thinking probably, let's see, uh, English billmen, Gwent Raiders. I think those billmen would be useful. Let's get two of them. Gloucester's going to have a nice little army to try and, t try and take Oxford. So our plan here is this army by Edwin Riddich. Riddich is going to try and take Oxford. Llewellyn's going to build up slowly and take Winchester. And then this army here is going to go down the coast and take, I think it's two settlements, I think there's one right on the coast there and I think there's one over here in the trees, so that's going to be his aim, I think we've got probably enough troops with, with what we have there, so we should be fine, and then we have London, we're not, get, not far away from London are we, we're going to have to start thinking about that, now the only thing is, I've kind of trapped myself at Lincoln because there are lots and lots of English armies nearby, Sire. and unfortunately <laughs> I'm kind of in a position now where it's like, ooh, I may have to defend this town. I ha haven't really lost many troops. I think I only lost one or two in the last battle. So it should be okay. And then Chester. Chester, this is the enigma really. In this campaign. Trying to take uh, Lancaster. I need to push north. Now I probably can sally out of Chester I think. Let's see. Settlement details. Oh yes, we are 70% Welsh now. So public order shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'm thinking we probably take everything out apart from the militiamen. My lord. We may as well. Um, oh shit, maybe not. Prince David? If Prince David the comes out side. with all the troops, like so, tomorrow, he's going to aim for Lancaster. 
with what he has. Meanwhile, Chester, oh, this is going to be awkward. Vortipole Howell lost the last battle, so we're going to go with Prince David this time. We keep the Welsh Militiamen there for the free upkeep, and we've got no money left to spend, so we are going to be losing some money next turn. And I think that's pretty much all we can do for this episode. Uh, well, not this episode, this this uh, this turn. I'm just going to move my merchant south. Find out what's in the south. Kent region. We're going to go towards Kent. See what's down there as well. Okay, so I think we can probably end turn. Oh, before we do it, let's just check my diplomat. He's up here somewhere. Yes, my lord. Okay, he's going on the right track. That's fine. Okay, I think we can probably end turn now. Here we go. Ten turns down. Ah, we have a battle. Oh, no, we don't. We haven't attacked us. England haven't attacked us. Right, that's good. The Norwegian king arrives. The Norwegian king, Hakon Hakonson, has arrived in the British Isles. We had best ensure our coastal towns are well defended, as the Norwegian king is accompanied by a large fleet with Viking raiders aboard. Oh, my goodness. The Norwegians have arrived. So, profits, of course, are minus 1,473. New family member, Gwyn. Repair in Lincoln, that's good, that helps the defences. And of course we've got lots of new troops in Gloucestershire and Shaftesbury. So we're going to concentrate on the south for the moment. Oh, Scottish merchant there. Right, we're going to concentrate on the south. This army by Mary V is going to push on for me. I wish I had a spy nearby. Oh, there's a fort there. Ignore the fort. Yes, my dear. We've just pushed on a little bit. I can't remember where the towns are exactly. Cornwall, Dorset, Cornwall. Yeah, Cornwall area we're taking. And. Right, what were we doing? Oh, yeah, I know what we're doing. This army's gonna go there. And then you guys are all gonna sally out. There we go, look at that. We have six units billmen, bows, spearmen, catapult, and the cavalry. Push up. You're gonna go towards Oxford. I think we can take Oxford if it stays like that, so we will do that with that army. Oh, Captain Simon, four units. He sends his opportunity to hurt me, whereas I sense opportunity to kill. Not going to worry about him. If he attacks, he attacks. He might try and take Gloucester, actually. That's the only problem. Don't want to lose Gloucester, do I? Gloucester's not happy with me as well. Why is that? Why aren't you people happy with me? Insurgents, unrest, and no govern governance. Oh, that takes the piss, doesn't it? Don't really want to balance build policy. Oh my god. <laughs> give, give it the capital. Let's not. Let's not make uh, gloss of the capital. Well, okay, what we're going to do is push out, I think, with Llewellyn. Although I want to keep my troops fit. and Okay, I'm going to have to fight with Llewellyn. Oh, look at that. I could take Winchester this turn. Three. Oh, opportunities. I, I got an even better idea. Let's just attack this insurgent army here. Attack! Auto resolve, night attack. Oh, look at that night attack. Auto resolve this one, I think. Yeah, auto resolve. Clear victory. We only lost 27. I'm happy with that. And they've pissed off. And, oh, trade increase. Spice Llewellyn, he feels appreciated, so his loyalty is plus one. Shaftesbury don't like me either. Oh, shit, this is going to be awkward. Get some dirt roads. Cheer them up. Cheer them up with dirt roads. I think we'll be okay for a turn or two. The king must move on, though. The king can probably. Oh, he's going to have to go back to Shaftesbury, isn't he? Let's go back to Shaftesbury for the time being because I don't want to have a rebellion on my hand. But we are going to be taking Winchester, hopefully, as well. So Oxford will go with this army. Winchester will go with him. And then this army is going to move south and terrorise the coast down here. And that should be this flank secured. I need to be wary of what happens in the centre here. Um, I am going to try and take Orders. Lancaster. This is going to be dodgy as hell. Maintain siege. I can't get any mercenaries. I'm fine. This captain might go for Chester now that Chester is open as well. Which is a bit of a shit because I haven't got very good troops in Chester. But I do have troops in Montgomery. Which I can probably pull out. I'm going to have to pull some troops out from Montgomery before long. What does Shrewsbury have? Shrewsbury has troops there anyway. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Take these three units towards Chester. To defend the north. Shrewsby are still relatively happy. I need to make sure that I'm using all the troops that I can possibly use. Pembroke, got oh, peasants, don't need to worry about peasants. Cardiff, what do we have? Gwent Raiders in Cardiff, right. They can go to this fort. My Gwent Raiders can actually go into Gloucester for me. Next turn, that'll probably help the public order a little bit. 
And I think we we'll probably add another end to and I can't really fight or I could fight these guys, Edmund. I am here only to fight thee. Oh I could Come be very daring by here. Five units. Billmen and Billmen. Oh my goodness, we could be very, very should we do it? He's a very good general as well. Time for a big battle, I think, guys. Very big battle indeed. Let's just leave Lincoln and attack. Oh, we pushed him back. Oh, we can fight them. Let's have a battle. Let's kill Edmund. We can kill a family member here. Fight the battle on the battlefield. Here we go. Big battle. No, oh god, I can't get my words out. Do you know what I'm thinking, guys? I'm thinking win this battle and take Nottingham with this army. I see opportunities on the battlefield. On the battle map, sorry. On the campaign map, I meant to say. As I have a quick drink, and we're not going to listen to the speech because I can do a better speech myself. Unit, Men of Wales, this is your time. Let's kill the English scum and take back what is ours. For the king. I'll do. Right. Put my heavy infantry at the front because they're going to be fighting the big battle for me. Spearmen are going to be grouped up. Oh shit. Right behind them, like so. These guys are absolute beasts, Gwent Raiders. They're a very underrated unit. When I do eventually do my little kind of faction overview for Wales, they will be mentioned because they are a very good unit indeed. They can just go behind. You can chill up behind for now. I have lots and lots of bows, which are going to be my front line. Let's give them a nice big front formation. Oh my god. Like so. Right. Make sure we got this right now. So you guys are there. Oh my god, this is like the worst formation ever. Like that, Spearman, oh my god, Spearman. And then I want to get Stakes by you, and Stakes by you, start the battle. And they are directly in front, and they are going to be pushing towards me. Do they have cavalry? Yes, they have cavalry, the general's bodyguard. Now what I am going to have to be wary of, of course, is their ballista. So I'm going to actually bring my general right up to this flank here. Just going to walk him up. No need for him to be there. Now, if I sit there, of course, I'm going to be pounced on by Ballista. So I'm going to have to be very, very careful indeed. They are going to be firing upon me. We've got an absolute opportunity here to really hurt the English. And that is going to be my aim. These men have good range. They will start firing now on the Billmen. The only thing is the Billmen are very heavy. So that is why I'm going to be using my Rafelweer heavy infantry. And look at that. Ballista just firing short. So the oh God, can I words up? are going to actually. Oh my goodness gracious! As you can see, it's not going to be ideal for me to sit there. That is why my general is going to be flanking to the to the side like he is right now, because they are going to be a bit of awkward. Right, Mary Life Speedman's going to flank to the right, and then my Gwent Raiders are going to flank to the left. I can't take too many hits like this, unfortunately. I'm hoping that I can get the cavalry to get onto the spikes. Oh, the spikes are only on the actual flanks, though, so... Yeah. We might get lucky, though. Chance for the spearmen to get the bodyguard. Oh, excellent! They're going to get onto the spikes, I think. Might get one or two of them. We have. Got one. As you can see. Their general's bodyguard. They're actually going after my general. Which is foolish. We're going to win this easily, I think. Bow units turn and fire on their general, which they are. 19 against 19, 18. Attack, 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 attack. Oh, yes, look at that. Rape in the middle. Hell yeah. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. I'm actually going to bait them now towards my spearmen. 15 against 11. Mike general needs to get out there quickly. Get out there, you fool. Get out there, you fool. I'm actually going to try and push the spearmen towards them. Oh my god, this is terrible. Shit, General, get out. My General's foolish. Get the fuck out there, you stupid bastard. I've got him cornered. It's just they've been a bit unresponsive at the moment, but it's okay. 
five remaining four. Oh shit. Oh, just about. Oh my god. That was quick. Eight remaining. I want to kill the general. It's not fair. I want to kill you. Seven remaining. is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Heavy billmen have come back. We're taking out the catapults anyway. Gwent Raider, the bloody beast in. They can go onto the heavy infantry there while the spearmen continue to fight over there. My general is having fun. My bow units still firing upon the cavalry. My general can actually chase the cavalry. I've actually seen an opportunity for to intercept here. Oh, I can't really do it though, I don't think. Let's have a look. Don't think the general's going to come back, is he? What do they have? They have 21 billmen and 25. Oh, we're doing pretty well. Gwent Raider's doing good for me. Yeah, that's going to be it, I think. Going to fast forward this. Not much tactics left in this battle. Behold, there we go. Continue the battle. It's time to press the attack. I'm going to actually let my cavalry chase down their bill militia to get some more kills. Their general's going to escape, unfortunately, but everyone else is going to die. There we go, look at that, lovely. One remaining, boom. I'll do. Quit the battle. Really quit. Clear victory, we only lost 101. They've got 11 men remaining, including their general. And I'm going to celebrate by having a J2O. Oh yeah. So there we go, we can ransom these, maybe get some cash. Oh, they, didn't, they rejected. Well, well, well. Winning first. <laughs> Plus one dread and a trait increase. He's got. He feels appreciated. Melior Marity. Uh, Melior Marity, funnily enough, he's the guy I don't trust. He's um, disloyal, alcoholic, marks of war. But he's, he's he proven himself in that battle and he's now going to push on and try and take Nottingham. Lincoln, of course, has a very low presence of Welsh people. And I might end up losing Lincoln, but you know what? You win some, you lose some. <laughs> Um, we're going to be aggressive and push on. And my spy is actually going to go and have a little look around for me. I think we're okay down here. And this spy is going to go back towards London so we can see what's going on in this part of the map. I have a merchant as well which can go down here. There's a port down here, so where the hell is the town? Two ports. I see two ports. Don't know where we are. Surrey and Sussex and Kent. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here. I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.